We begin with the state's final version of the budget bill. It appropriates billions and addresses key areas, including education, medical services, and affordable housing. While it still needs the full legislator's vote, before it reaches the governor's desk, lawmakers say the $21.7 billion budget for 2024-2025 puts money toward things that matter most to the people of Hawaii. Uh, finance, uh, Ways and Means Share has done a great job in, in disseminating a budget that I think is well received by most of our members on the House and Senate to help our communities. From health care to education, Caring for the environment and ensuring Hawaii's prepared in the wake of a disaster. The budget approved by the Senate and House Finance Committees gets to the heart of residents' concerns. In a statement, the Ways and Means Committee Chair, Senator Donovan De La Cruz, says he's confident that this bill will provide opportunities for Hawaii residents not just to survive, but to thrive. One of the key areas of concern for local residents is the high cost of living. According to the House Finance Committee Chair, funds are being appropriated for affordable housing. According to the House Finance Committee Chair, Kyle Yamashita, the budget focuses on healing and investing in the future. One example of this is by investing over $300 million to increase their inventory of affordable housing for the middle class. Yamashita says they're also tackling early education by allotting almost $40 million to the preschool open doors program that will get matched by federal funds, allowing the state to expand public and private school and early learning opportunities to three-year-olds. Schools have always been our challenge, um, uh, funding on schools. So they are putting $170 million aside for teachers' housing, a benefit supporters say will help retain and recruit teachers. Another area the budget focuses on, health care, with more than $47 million going to emergency services statewide and another $1.6 million going to Molokai to fund a much-needed second ambulance there. It's been a tough struggle for Molokai. Uh, many of our residents, if the ambulance does not get to them in time, we then push to do a full air vac, which then inundates the, the neighbor island hospitals. So the 1.6 should cover the crew as well as the ambulance for fiscal year 24 and 25. The budget will go back to the chamber floor for a final vote from the full ledge before it's sent to the governor. For a look at the full budget, log on to kh12.com.